Although I am no longer a teacher and as unable to compete in this competition for Sacramento Teacher of the Year, I will always cherish being a part of this evening. Thank you very much for having supported me and encouraged me. I still remember the time I landed. Um, I flew all the way from the Philippines. That was in the year 2000. I landed at the Sacramento airport with $200 in my pocket and with a dream that I will make it as a successful teacher here. And never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that with 11 years of teaching experience in the Philippines, I thought I had it all. But then when I first walked into an American classroom, man, I realized uh, I haven't learned a thing. <laughs> um, but I've always believed that, you know, um, in the Philippines there's a saying that education is your ticket out of poverty. It's a great equalizer. And I may not be rich right now. I still have probably $200 in my pocket, I mean, in my savings account. But I am rich in terms of, of the memories I have and with, with having had the opportunity to, to bond with students like Rashna. Um, so thank you everyone, or thank you to everyone who made this event happen. I believe that once a teacher, you're always a teacher. I still wear two badges. My new badge as the new science curriculum coordinator for Twin Rivers and my teacher badge. It will always remain near my heart. Um, I envision myself being up on the stage again, maybe next year, hopefully. I don't imagine myself leaving the classroom. And maybe by then I will prepare a longer speech talking about <laughs> my passion, uh, which is science education. But for now, I have rollover minutes. I checked. So I'm bequeathing my rollover minutes to the other teachers. Thank you so much. <laughs>